provincial symbols of Canada. So again, each province has a different flag, a different flower, and a different bird. And these are the symbols that each province has adapted. So uh, it should only take about 10 minutes or so, and we'll do pronunciation practice with each of the provinces, the names of those birds, as well as the names uh, of anything else that comes up. <laughs> so let's begin. Our provincial symbols. Provincial symbols. We have Alberta. Alberta. This is the wild rose. Wild rose. And the lovely construction next door. <laughs> Alberta has the great horned owl. Great horned owl. The horns are the little tufts of feathers on its head, not actual horns. British Columbia. British Columbia. And this flower is the Pacific dogwood. Pacific dogwood. And British Columbia's bird is the Stellar's Jay. Stellar's Jay. Manitoba. Manitoba. Here's our purple prairie. Prairie. Crocus. Crocus. Prairie crocus. Manitoba's bird is the great gray owl. Great gray owl. New Brunswick. Now we're getting into the maritime provinces on the east coast. New Brunswick. New Brunswick. Their flower is the purple violet. Purple violet. Which violet means purple in French. So we're saying purple purple. And our first fun bird, the New Brunswick black capped. Chickadee. This ED blend you'll see has a T sound and is quite common, so we'll practice these kinds of blends. Black capped chickadee. Chickadee. Black capped chickadee. New found land. Newfoundland and Labrador. Labrador. Together, Newfoundland and Labrador has a purple pitcher plant. Purple pitcher plant. One more time. Purple pitcher plant. And a very unique Atlantic puffin bird as the Newfoundland and Labrador symbol and their provincial animal. Atlantic puffin. Puffin. The most northern territory, the Northwest Territories. Northwest Territories. 
their flower is the mountain avens or avens. Mountain avens. Mountain avens. I'm sure both people will say. And the Northwest Territories bird is the gyre fal falcon. Geyer falcon. Geyer falcon. I don't believe it's a hard G like Graham. G G Geyer falcon. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. And that's a very Canadian sound. Welcome to Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. And this is the Mayflower. The Mayflower is also a very famous ship that went to America, I believe. Uh, the Mayflower. They also have a bird of prey, a predatory bird as their bird. The Osprey or Osprey. Also a very famous backpack company. Osprey. Nova Scotia. Into the newest territory, Nunavut. Nunavut. There are three territories, and we've done two. They're blossoming, I'm assuming, summertime flower is the purple saxifrage. Purple saxifrage. And as there's not much, not many animals in the north, the animals that do live up there need to be heavily camouflaged so they don't get eaten. So the rock ptarmigan certainly looks like a rock. So be careful when you're stepping up there, you might step on a bird, not a rock. The Nunavuts rock ptarmigan. So the T is silent. Parmugin. Ontario, the capital province. Their flower is the white trillium. White trillium. Trillium. And a very famous Canadian bird, and it's on our currency, the... The one dollar coin is the loon, the loony coin. Common loon, common loon. Now we get to PEI, Prince Edward Island, Prince Edward Island. And PEI's flower is the lady's slipper. Lady's slipper. Ah, and PEI's bird is the blue jay. So as you can see, it has a blue head, a blue back, and a white chest. Whereas the Stellar's jay from British Columbia has a quite a blue body but a black head. Quebec. Quebec. If you pronounce it more parlez-vous en français, they would say Quebec. Quebec. And this is the blue flag iris for Quebec. Quebec. And another owl. Here we have the stunning snowy owl. Snowy owl for Quebec. And the most difficult province to pronounce, Saskatchewan. Sas, ka, tu, wan. 
Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan has the western red lily. Western red lily. Saskatchewan. Good. And they also have the sharp tailed grouse. Sharp tailed grouse. And our last territory is the Yukon. Yukon. And their flower is also purple, being fireweed. Fireweed. In the Yukon. And this bird is very smart. And they have the common raven. Common raven. And you'll see it's quite large. Most of Canada has a crow, and a crow is looks identical, but it's much smaller. So the Yukon Territories, common raven, raven. And that concludes the provincial symbols for today. We'll see you next time.